So in this video, we're going to be discussing what an operating system is. Before we go into the details about how an operating system works, uh, let's start with a relatively simple question. Let's say that you wrote a Hello World program in a language familiar to you. Let's say in this case, C. You've compiled it. What happens when you type a dot slash the name of your program and then you hit enter? So it seems like it's a kind of trivial question. Go ahead and take a few minutes, pause the video to write down what your current answer would be. But it's going to take most of the information from an entire operating systems course to be able to fully answer that question. Our objectives for this particular video are to define what an operating system can be and what it's not. And then we're going to talk briefly about some of the components of an operating system. There are multiple definitions we're going to talk about for what an operating system is. First, we can think of an operating system as a program that acts as an intermediary between a user of a computer and the computer hardware. We can also think of an operating system in terms of its goals. An operating system's goal is to execute user programs and make solving user problems easier. An operating system has the goal to make the computer convenient to use. And the operating system also has the goal to use the computer hardware in an efficient manner. But there are other ways we can think about an operating system. We can think about the operating system as a resource allocator, which manages all of the resources on the computer and then decides between conflicting requests for those resources so that things are efficient and fairly distributed. You can also think of the operating system as a control program, which controls the execution of programs to prevent errors and improper use of the computer. I encourage you heavily to come up with your own definition for what an operating system is because there's no universally accepted definition. I suggest pausing the video, coming up with your own definition. So if we assume from this point in time that we have a definition for an operating system, we can talk about where it sits inside of computers organization. So we have the user who interfaces typically with the applications that they are currently running, Word, PowerPoint, maybe you're watching a YouTube video at the same time as you're writing a term paper. So those application programs are typically controlled by the operating system, which sits underneath those in terms of computer organization. And the operating system interfaces between those application programs and the resources that they need to run, such as central processing unit time, memory, disk, and there's a whole lot of dot, dot, dot in that hardware section. When we're talking about the system structure of the computer, we refer to those in terms of four different components. At the bottom layer, we have the hardware, which provides those basic computing resources, such as that central processing unit time, memory interfacing, and those input and output devices, such as the hard disk. Operating system directly interfaces with those hardware components, controlling and coordinating the use of that hardware among the various applications and users. And when we try to put application programs on top of that, those application programs typically define the way ways in which the system resources are used to solve computing problems of the users. A user might need a word processor to write a term paper, a compiler in order to compile their code, web browsers in order to do research or look up information on the internet, database systems in order to look up information inside of a database, or you might be playing a video game. And then there's the users. So the users are a core piece of the computer system structure because without the people who are utilizing these machines, there are not a lot of use cases for an operating system.